Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scratch diver game. So I haven't been uploading for a while because I was busy, but now I'll be uploading frequently again. So let's get started. So unless you need your scratch cat as a part of your diver uh, game, you don't need it. So I deleted it, but I'm just going to use the diver that is already in scratch. You can also make your own sprite or get one from Google or from the internet. Uh, but I'm just going to be using the one from scratch. The backdrop's also going to be from scratch. There's two underwater uh, backdrops that you can choose in scratch. I think this one looks nicer than the other one, so I'll choose this. The diver that you already have is pretty big, so you, you'd want to make it smaller if you're making this game. So next we need a, scra a shark sprite. And we're going to make our own sprite, which is going to be a coin. I don't think there's a coin for scratch already. So... I'm just gonna make one myself. Yep, that seems yellow enough. Okay. This is a poorly graphic coin, but then I'm not really focusing on the graphics right now. So I've got my coin. So let's start uh, the program. So the objective of the game is the diver is going to move towards the mouse pointer. Well, not towards, but it's just going to well stick to the mouse pointer and go wherever it is. So we control it using our mouse and the sharks and the coin is going to come from the left side to the right side and we need to avoid the sharks and when you hit the shark the game is over and when we get the coin we get one point so let's get started for the divers code is pretty simple uh when clicked it shows itself and then it forever follows the mouse point. And also for the, well that's about it for the diver's code. We'll see if we need anything else in the diver's code. So for the shark's code, or let's do the coins code first. For the coins code, when the green flag is clicked, it hides itself. Because we're actually going to use clones to make the coins. And then forever, it creates a clone of itself. And it's going to spawn a coin every uh, two seconds. You can choose how frequently you want the coins to be spawned, but I'm going to keep mine to two seconds. So when we start as a clone, it's going to set, it's going to pick a random Y direction, Y position. Uh, so set Y to pick random. From minus 200 to 200 and then it shows itself and then it's gonna glide to the left side so it's gonna glide two seconds to minus 240 the X is gonna be minus 240 and the Y position will again be pick random from minus 200 to 200. So that makes 
the diagonal movement of the coins. We're gonna keep the, sim the same movement for the shark and the coins, so we're just gonna use this piece of code as well for the shark. And also, we need to keep in mind that whenever the coin touches the diver, it's gonna get, we're gonna get the point. So let's just make the variable now, which is gonna be point. You can name it anything you want, like coins collected, or if you're doing something else than a coin, then whatever you have. So mine's gonna be named point. And the code for knowing if it touches the diver or not is going to be when I start as a clone forever. If it touches diver 2. Then it changes points by 1. I'm going to get rid of this my variable thing. It's pretty unnecessary that scratch keeps a, a pre variable already made. It's not needed. But anyways. Uh and if it touches the edge, it should also uh delete itself. So in both cases it's going to delete itself, but if it touches the diver, we get a point. So I'm think the I think that's gonna be it for the code for the coin. Now for the code for the shark is gonna so the code for the shark will be similar to the code for the coin. So when clicked hide again and forever create a clone of myself and wait. 1.5 seconds so we're gonna spawn the shark faster than the coin so that it's harder for the player to get points but it's your choice if you want it to be easier or harder or how often you want it to spawn the movement's gonna be same so I'm just gonna drag this piece of code and this is also going to be similar, but if it touches Diver 2, and instead of changing points, it's going to broadcast end game. So I'm just going to name it end. Yeah, I think that's it for the code of the shark. So let's test our game. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. So as you can see, the shark is moving backwards. So just to fix that, we can just uh, select the shark and then flip it horizontally. Oops, its eyes got left. Yep, it's okay now. Not sure why that happened, but yep. Now it should work. Yeah, now the shark's going in the correct way. And the points are also working correctly. Yup. It's okay. So now let's just make the end of the game. So that's gonna be when clicked. So when clicked, well, just let's make the end screen before we do any of the coding. So duplicate, or well, you can just make your own end screen. But I'm gonna uh, just write game over on the, on the on the existing background that we already have. And when clicked, it's gonna be the normal backdrop. But then when we receive end, we switch backdrop to underwater too. 
and stop all. Yep, and now we're gonna well hide all the sprites because they're gonna if they're gonna be in the way, then we're gonna have all sorts of stuff on the game over screen. So we don't want that. So let's just hide everything. To do this, we will add when I receive end hide. So put this in all of the sprites. You can just drag it like how I did instead of coding it again and again. And before I forget, we'll have to set points to zero in the start. And yep, now it's okay. So well, I guess that's it guys. If you like the video, then please well like the video and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.